For positive heroes in the city to city marathon, a partnership makes perfect sense. Long distance running and living openly with HIV require the same characteristics dedication, positive thinking, perseverance, and courage. Our overarching goal is that everybody who is living with HIV will be free and able to disclose their status without fear of any kind of retribution or recriminations or any stigmatization. So we use positive role models, people who are all living with HIV, who are active in their communities, and we involve them in a range of different initiatives. Dubbed by Nelson Mandela as one of South Africa's new heroes, Constitutional Court Justice Edwin Cameron is a human rights activist openly living with HIV and also the proud patron of Positive Heroes. My enthusiasm for it derives from the fact that it aims at the worst aspect of this epidemic, which is stigma. Stigma kills, stigma disadvantages, stigma creates silence, and Positive Heroes aims to empower people themselves living with HIV to battle stigma through visibility and through their own voices. Evelina Chabalala is my personal hero. She is a woman from the townships. She doesn't have the middle-class, affluent, professional advantages that I've had. I've got the salary of a judge, I've got a home in the suburbs. Evelina has shown quite extraordinary courage, personal grit. She's taken her life, she's reshaped it, she's a marathon runner, she has taken her own HIV and made it a positive feature of her life. I admire her just almost beyond expression in words. Despite her past hardships, Evelina's grit and determination helped her summit Mount Kilimanjaro and compete in the Two Oceans and Comrades Ultra Marathons. Yeah, I'm HIV positive 99, I'm March on the 25. And then, okay, it was not easy, it was heavy, you know. The worst one was my son, Emmanuel, at the time passed away. Everything just boom, down. But I told myself, I'm never falling down. I'm going to stand up and then just like, carry on. <laughs> the message I can say to the people is HIV positive. Nothing is going to stop us what we want to do. We can do anything we want to do and our life also is not finished. The Positive Heroes team compete in the country's top endurance races to show the world that an HIV diagnosis is not a death sentence, but a life sentence. I've been living with HIV for 12 years. I lived in denial for eight of those years. As a result, I got really, really ill. Soon after, I started ARVs and all my energy came back and I discovered running for the first time in my life. And I've just run 50K. Positive heroes helped me to gain strength and hope about my status. Like, for instance, I once tried to kill myself. Then uh, when I read about uh, positive heroes, then uh, they invited in. The City to City Marathon is run in the spirit of unity, bringing people of all walks of life together, and the Positive Heroes team is a perfect embodiment of that goal. I think the most important thing about Positive Heroes and the City to City race is that we have got to get a fundamental message across. AIDS is not death. HIV is not the end of life. AIDS is a fully medically manageable condition. I've been on antiretrovirals for 15 years. So Positive Heroes participation in the city to city, I think is fundamental to a message of health, a message of non-discrimination, a message of testing, prevention and treatment, treatment, treatment. Cannot emphasize that enough. And finally, a message, let's get over this. Let's stop the stigma. Let's stop the silence. It may be a long road ahead to break the stigma surrounding HIV, but Positive Heroes and these inspirational athletes are off to a running start. I want to live the best life.